Right, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how you can take care of your MacBook Air M1. Now generally you don't want to hold it like this. It is quite nice. It, you get a, an idea of the balance and the weight of it, but generally you don't really want to be balancing it on one hand. Correct way to hold it, believe it or not, is like this. Firmly with two hands when you're carrying it around. You can carry it like a briefcase or pack of papers if you wanted to. The best way is to do it with two hands. Never put pressure on the top side of it. Now, I know we've had issues or talked about issues with the MacBook Air M1 screen. So yeah, just don't press it. I know I'm even scared to knock it, to be honest, in case it cracks. But yeah, don't put any pressure on the top lid. You do see some people, you know, the kind who don't mind buying a new MacBook every year, just pressing on the top really hard. I'd be too scared to do that. But it is a joy to hold just with one hand, but try to avoid doing that. When you're storing your MacBook Air M1, you need a case. I've got the Smatry one, which I've had for, for a while now, since the beginning. And I did do a video review on it. But yeah, I mean, it's got a hard show exterior. It's got some cushioning there. You can just slot your MacBook in here so it doesn't wobble about. And it's, it's really solid. Obviously, if you want to drop it from the top of the stairs, in this case, that's your fault and that's on you. It's not going to protect you from that. You need something stronger, but it is sturdy enough to go to slot itself into a bag and then you can carry it around. But yeah, this is absolutely essential, especially if you've got kids around, any pets, you just don't want to leave your MacBook on the desk like that. In terms of wiping the screen, I'm just going to show a clip of one of my old videos because I think I demonstrated it best. So what I have firstly is a microfiber cloth. Okay, one of these. And the reason why you use a microfiber cloth, as it, silly as it sounds, is because it's nice and soft and it doesn't scratch your screen, okay? Firstly, I should mention when you're actually wiping your screen, you need to do it with the screen off. And the reason is because the display is filled up and it's heated at the moment. If you press it, you will damage it. So you need to shut down your MacBook and then proceed to wiping it. In terms of actual water, um, because this is just a dry wipe, this might get off dust, a few smudges, but if you want water, now I've actually got spectacle and lens wipes. Uh, because I have glasses, so I get one of these out and they're just in little packs. I rip them and a little wet wipe comes out. I wipe it first and sometimes, because of these, they actually dry by themselves. Um, you can wipe over it then afterwards, but if you check on Amazon, there's tons of TV screen cleaners. They're really good, but I have a slight issue with them because they're spraying. You know, if you spray something on there, the water will immediately run down and I'm kind of concerned about that gap just right at the bottom there in case any liquid gets into it or if anything goes under the keyboard because obviously the MacBook's not completely, I don't think it's splash proof. I don't really want to test it to be honest. Um, but if you have a microfiber cloth, definitely use that. I find no matter how many times, I, I mean, I wiped this 10 minutes early. I don't know if you can see, but it's a dust magnet already. So I'm not going to bother again as long as it hasn't got major fingerprints on. And finally, coming on to closing the screen, yeah, that was another issue as well. So again, I've got a really good video that I believe will demonstrate it much better. Uh, it's had quite a few views. Some of you may have already seen it, but I'm going to pop it in here because it's very useful. Well, I just thought I'd give you a heads up in case you didn't know, and certainly I didn't know until a couple of days ago, and that's how you need to open and close your MacBook. Now, firstly, I'm not joking. If you go onto Reddit, you'll find a lot of people who have cracked their screens, particularly the M1 model. Okay, so what happens is when you close the screen, depending on where you close it, Okay, there should be no pressure on the actual glass. Okay, so this, the MacBook's got a glass panel. Okay, if I decide to pull it in the corner, I'm putting pressure on that glass panel. And what people have done on Reddit is shut the MacBook from the corner. So I'm actually too scared to demonstrate, to be honest. It should be shut down from here. Okay, and then opened up from here as well. But what people are doing is they're doing it from the corner. They're slamming it down. They're opening up, whipping it up. Now, I have to admit, I do, I've done this on laptops in the past, particularly ones that are fractional of the price. And because they're plasticky and these screens are sort of cheap plastic as well, they can last a bit be a bit longer, uh, which does not make sense at all, but that's just the way it is. Whereas this one, it's the glass panel will just crack if you do it. And I think it's, it kind of seems it's more for the laptops that are on the move, particularly students where it's thrown in a bag and they're quickly opening and they're shutting it quickly. I mean, generally human nature is, if you spend a lot of money on something, you're gonna take care of it. And that's what I tend to do. So I'm fine sort of doing this and then opening up. Now, admittedly, my laptop isn't actually on the move um, a lot. So it's um, it benefits me in that respect. 
but just make sure you have a good case as well. I mean, you want to keep it shut, but then, although this is aluminium, you don't really want any pressure on it as that could put some sort of force. And then even when you're opening it, okay, it's got to almost be balanced. And you can open it shut, puts a bit of pressure on the hinges. You can do that, but do not do it from the corner because you're pulling it, you're bending it, and it'll immediately crack it or you'll have micro cracks in certain places. There you go. Those are my essential tips for taking care of your MacBook Air M1. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, and until next time.